So it's like my mates, you know, from way back. Uh, and um, and then why do we celebrate? We can do so much better next year. So uh, to Billwood Meter. There, I believe. Jonas. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I thought you skipped me. Mm. Never. Yeah, but hey, everyone. Um, I think most of you guys already know me. I'm Jonas from the Billbox team. Very excited to uh, have this hackathon go live soon. And I hope that it's going to be a lot of fun to build with Meter. I think it's like uh, um, kind of a new opportunity for all of us to kind of get to know Meter better. And I'm so excited to, to uh, learn more. So um, send it over to you, Sean. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Xiao Han Zhu. Uh, I'm uh, one of the co-founders for Meter, and uh, have been working on Meter since uh, 2018. And uh, it's so great to be able to work with Bitbox uh, <coughs> for this hackathon. And uh, looking forward to, to work with everyone uh, that participated as well. Yeah, um, amazing. Um... So yeah, just a, just a little bit of uh, background before we dive into our questions. Um, also, if anybody does have any questions, uh, this is an AMA. We are going to get to any questions throughout the session, uh, but feel free to uh, drop them into the chat. Um, but just a little fun fact, uh, we when Biddlebox was the Gitcoin Hackathons team, uh, we had the pleasure of working with Meter on one of our hackathons there. I believe it was the L2 Rollathon, I forget. Yes, yes. That was a yeah. great experience working with uh, you guys at that yeah. time as well, yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was awesome. And um, it's uh, we're so happy to have you all here for your very own um, exclusive hackathon, which is Hack Meter. But um, so, uh, Jahan, uh, how about you tell us a little bit about Meter and what do you all do? Yeah, sure. Um, so Meter is, uh, we've been first, we've been working on the project since 2018. <coughs> um, on the high level, it's a Ethereum scaling solution built on a new consensus protocol, uh, hot stuff. Um, actually, we have already upgraded the consensus to hot stuff too. Um, <coughs> it's uh, very similar to like uh, Serio Aptos, <coughs> but uh, <coughs> we're much more decentralized. Right now, they have uh, we have more than 350 consensus nodes uh, in the community. It's scalable to tens of thousands. Um, in fact, we have been recently discussing with the uh, Cosmos uh, SDK uh, team to potentially uh, use uh, our consensus implementation as an alternative to the uh, Comet BFT. <coughs> so, uh, Meter is a Ethereum scaling solution, but we also have some unique features like uh, front running resistance. And also uh, we have a built-in uh, flat coin uh, created by Proof of Work. Um, it has a long-term economic equilibrium. So um, basically, in, an hour, in other words, uh, long-term stable in value, <clears throat> basically trading within a range. Uh, this is to complete uh, Satoshi's original vision to have uh, something that is a sound money, but uh, can also be used for daily transactions. So yeah, for the pizza thing. So yeah, that's uh, all about meter. Uh, and uh, looking forward to, to have uh, uh, developers uh, building on the meter network. So the hackathon, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so currently um, I'd like to know what would you like to see built in the hackathon? I know we're, we're going to get to the challenges a little bit next, but um, what are some of your current favorite projects um, that are built on Meter? And um, yeah, what are what are you hoping to see? Yeah, so um, in Meter, we already have a, a like a pretty healthy ecosystem. So there are, for example, people launched uh, uh, DAXs, um, like uh, lending borrowing platforms, synthetic assets. Um, perp DAX um, on the DeFi side. On the game side, uh, we have <coughs> people launched a metaverse, uh, uh, launched a like uh, pay to earn uh, type of games. I mean, um, yeah, there's a, a very good uh, mix of uh, existing ecosystem, but uh, we do want to see 
more innovations and uh, more interesting applications that uh, can attract users uh, into the Meter ecosystem. <clears throat> so for this hackathon, uh, we actually prepared uh, three different tracks. So there are like application track <clears throat> and uh, innovation infra track, uh, infra track. Uh, and finally, there's the no-code track. So I can uh, dig into uh, each of them in more detail. Do you want me to do it now or like uh, we just like? Uh, yeah, um, Yeah. sure. Let, let, let's let's get into that. Uh, but uh, really quick um, to scale it back uh, this or for those who are just joining in the audience, uh, Hackmeter will be launching, I believe, next week on May 29th. And um, it's a four-week hackathon. Uh, submissions will be closing on June 30th. Uh, there will be 25,000 MTRG uh, or uh, meter tokens up for grabs and prizes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a series of workshops. I will be dropping a, a few of those links and putting it on the Jumbotron. But uh, Jahan, yes, please take it away. Uh, let's, let's hear about all of the challenge tracks. Yeah, so basically... Uh, the goal of these tracks is uh, like uh, stimulate uh, innovation and also uh, experiment different uh, things that could potentially bring uh, users and activities uh, into the ecosystem. So the first track is the uh, application track. This is uh, uh, very self-explanatory, so it focuses on uh, the apps. So uh, we can like give some examples. Like for example, can be like a a game, uh, the app, uh, or like a batting or DeFi type of uh, uh, the app, like for example, DEX aggregators, uh, yield up maximizers, or like uh, <coughs> other like restaking or even like uh, airdrop launchpad, uh, these type of applications. But uh, just don't get uh, limited by whatever uh, we said in the uh, in the hackathon list. Uh, just like yeah. We're open to all kinds of innovations uh, and uh, applications. The second track is more uh, <coughs> uh, infra related or like novice uh, type of uh, applications. So for example, uh, we're looking for um, uh, developers that could help uh, enhancing our existing uh, infrastructure. Uh, for example, like providing um, portals that can help uh, new users easily navigate uh, the, our ecosystem um, together with like onboarding, uh, offboarding, um, integrating better with uh, all the uh, existing bridges and uh, gas uh, faucets uh, or like a uh, swap uh, we have in the ecosystem. <clears throat> we have other things like, for example, providing an API based access to a graph node uh, platform we're providing to the community. Um, yeah, all kinds of uh, things uh, that's yeah, either infra related or like, yeah, just um, things that uh, works to try, you feel. And finally, uh, there is a no code track. So, this is for uh, people who are not really developers, but uh, interested in trying different uh, things to help our ecosystem. For example, <coughs> we have a no code uh, NFT. A creation platform on the meter network. So you can use that to create interesting NFT collections and promote it uh, uh, within uh, the community or like the new users. Um, you can also create uh, tutorials for doing different things, for example, like running validators uh, or other things, different uh, swags, creating infographics. Yeah, all kinds of things that, uh, I mean, for example, if you're a designer, you're you can like just throw in everything uh, you can imagine. I love that. And I, mm. I think it's super special when uh, we get hackathons that, uh, I guess, open up the audience to not only developers, but for just designers and uh, just creators of all kinds. So I'm super yes. duper excited for this one as well. Um, and then I believe we had one question. What's up, Mimi? Um, uh, we have a question from Mimi. She is, uh, I believe she is registered for this hackathon 
and is signed up to participate. But she wanted to know, is Meter a DeFi protocol? Uh, Meter is a layer one blockchain. So yeah, imagine we're like uh, similar to like Ethereum in terms of uh, platform uh, capability. So you can put in all kinds of uh, dApps uh, or smart contracts on the Meter blockchain, but uh, just uh, way faster and uh, cheaper. Right on, oh, right on. One thing uh, I want to add is uh, like um, for all the participants uh, in the hackathon, uh, depends on which level you achieved at the end, but like even you made a submission in the hackathon, uh, we have uh, like an NFT collections uh, that will be provided uh, to the uh, the participants and uh, their rarity will based on what level you achieved. And that will map to, we, we have a, like a governance dis discussion already in, in the meter community that we prepared a, a big amount of uh, uh, future tokens. I mean, not future tokens, token allocations for future airdrops. So the, the holders of these NFTs will be qualified for future airdrops. Heck yeah, we love a good airdrop. Um, Jonas. Uh, I think I saw you coming up on mute. Yes, that's super exciting. And thank you so much about like explaining everything so thoroughly. I really appreciate it. I think like most builders as well, like uh, needs to get like the understanding of what, what kind of projects. And I feel it's very open this time around. So I, I hope that we will definitely see a lot of uh, engagement. One more question though for you. Um, is how 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 um, is meter different from an L1 like Ethereum? You said it was faster, cheaper. Is there anything else that like um, is different with meter versus like Ethereum or Luxo or any similar like L1s? Yeah. So basically, if you look at uh, uh, most of the L1 architecture or code base, um, it's actually originated uh, from like fairly early days. For example. Uh, like the Ethereum original code base started in like 2014, I believe. Um, like the Cosmos SDK, they started uh, like uh, around uh, like 2016 timeframe. So at that time, uh, the consensus protocol were still uh, not as advanced uh, as today. Um, they were like using the like research uh, originated in the 1970s. But uh, in the since 2018, there is some new advancement uh, in the consensus algorithm, uh, which allows uh, a network to have a much bigger network, uh, more error resilient uh, to the any failures or disruptions in the network, while you can maintaining uh, the fa high highest performance possible. So, for example. Uh, on the meter network. Um, so our consensus algorithm was actually based on paper that was published uh, uh, last year. And uh, with the new algorithm, basically uh, people, uh, we can run like thousands of, uh, or like tens of thousands of validators in the network without impacting uh, the performance of the, uh, of the uh, blockchain. So for example, right now, the bottleneck on the meter network is actually not the consensus or um, having a lot of nodes uh, synchronizing their states, but uh, rather it's uh, EVM itself. So we can actually run EVM at the fastest uh, speed uh, possible that can be sustained uh, by uh, uh, cloud uh, VM. So that allows us to process thousands of transactions per second. Um, so, and also at a very uh, uh, lower cost. And the other thing is uh, when we designed the network, we were thinking about to complete uh, Satoshi's original vision of uh, uh, some money independent of the fiat system. So if you look at nowadays in crypto space, there are, for example, different type of uh, stable points, but they are still packed to US dollars. Uh, meter, uh, our like a uh, meta stable coin is actually uh, connected to 10 kilowatt hour of electricity used in proof of work mining because electricity price is a long term, very stable in purchasing power, much more stable than fiat uh, currencies. We can create a, a economic equilibrium based on miners' profit chasing behavior 
And uh, so the gas token in our network is uh, both uh, like stable in terms of uh, like cost and also low in terms of cost. So that's how we achieved uh, higher performance and uh, low and stable cost in the network. And uh, yeah, right now we're looking at uh, not only contributing to I mean existing meter blockchain, but uh, uh, having the core technology available to uh, more developers and more projects uh, in the crypto community. Um, that's what uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, we're closely working with the uh, Cosmos SDK team and trying to see um, if we can provide an alternative uh, engine for the Cosmos ecosystem. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I, do, I, I also do have um, a, a kind of, I might be jumping ahead here, but excuse me if I do, but uh, uh, do you have any like um, YouTube channels, resources? Uh, yes. Uh, we have a Meteor IO uh, YouTube channel. So, yeah. Um, oh, he's he's cutting out. But uh, yes, any uh, any resources, and then I'll I'll plug yeah. them onto the. I think the like uh, first uh, like uh, resource people need to like go is uh, of course our website meter.io m e t e r dot i o, and over there uh, you can take a look at the the document uh, page. We have a specific link for. Uh, new developers in the documents. So basically, it's a one pager with all the information you need to, to get started. For example, like uh, the RPCs, the chain IDs, uh, important uh, addresses, uh, all the basic infrastructures uh, like graph node, uh, multi sig, uh, all everything is in there. I think after, like, if you are like a Ethereum developer, I mean, after reading that page, you should be like ready to go to start developing. Um, and also, uh, we have a <coughs> community channels. Uh, if you uh, go to our website, <coughs> there's a developer channel uh, on Telegram and also on uh, Discord. And obviously, we have a, uh, the YouTube channel uh, that contains uh, some tutorials and uh, early <coughs> like communications we had uh, 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 um, previously for previous hackathons. Yeah. But uh, I would say the best place to get started for as a developer is the documents uh, site, docs.meter.io. Amazing. Yeah, thank you so much for like briefing us all. Uh, really much appreciate it. Perfect. Uh, we did have another question. And actually, this might be this, uh, this is something, maybe this might be uh, a little bit of alpha, but uh, Mimi from the audience, she asked, uh, can is it possible for builders to bring their other projects into this hackathon and then shape it for uh, for the meter challenges? Yeah, we are definitely <coughs> open to uh, that uh, uh, existing applications uh, that you have polished uh, uh, to deploy on the meter network. And uh, yeah, actually uh, for projects that's actually uh, for example, if you win the hackathon, or like uh, if you, after you go through the hackathon, you feel uh, you you are interested in launching uh, on the meter network. Uh, we other than the uh, the hackathon uh, prizes, we also have like a user growth grant that we can help you to bootstrap uh, on the uh, meter network. Uh, for example, we can provide some incentives to help you to attract uh, new users. Uh, to use your applications uh, or like infrastructures, uh, things like that. No, that's, that's great. That's uh, in addition to the, uh, the the hackathon prize. That is awesome. Wait, um, yeah, tell tell us a little bit more about that and and how uh, and yeah, any so other initiatives to develop. We actually uh, have a like a meter grant program as well. So, uh, the grant itself it's uh, like uh, coming from the uh, uh, the foundation. Uh, so the main goal is to stimulate the uh, the user growth and uh, like more activities, transactions on the network. So, for example, if you're uh, deploying a meter, uh, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, uh, so there are several uh, type of grant possible. Uh, for example, there's uh, 
uh, TVL based grant if uh, you are DV, uh, DeFi applications. So based on uh, how much uh, uh, TVL your application attract, uh, we can provide a, <coughs> like 7.5 to 10% uh, uh, token grant to your applications. And you can either use it uh, to uh, like extend the runway or like attract new users uh, uh, in the uh, to to use the applications or for retaining the users. Um, I mean, we can also provide you some initial grant to help you to bootstrap. Uh, for example, like initially you may not have enough TVL to qualify that uh, for the TVL uh, grant, but uh, you need something to bootstrap, so we can provide that uh, to you as well. Uh, and uh, for game type of uh, applications, we have like uh, gas grant. We have other things that we can like help you, but it's more like um because it's more specific to the design of the game. So we can uh, discuss with you in detail in that case, like how do we design the campaign to help you to attract the uh, initial user base. Awesome. And I went ahead and I think I found the correct link to the meter developer grant program. Uh, but I, I went ahead and threw that on the uh, Jumbotron as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, very, very nice. And um, just to um, quickly recap for, because I, I do see a, a few others that joined, um, we're speaking with Zhao Han, uh, co-founder of Meter on our upcoming hackathon with Meter. It is called Hack Meter. I'm going to say Meter a million times so everyone remembers the name. But uh, we've got Hack Meter coming up and it is kicking off uh, next Wednesday, the 29th. And um, there are three challenges. Uh, the session is being recorded and uh, Jean gave a very great alpha on uh, what type or examples of different projects uh, to look for in these challenges. But we've got uh, the application track, we've got the innovation infra track, and then we also have the no code track. Um, all of these challenges, they total to uh, they total up to 25,000 in uh, meter token or meter governance token, MTRG. Uh, quick, uh, quick touch point on what is to come in the hackathon. Uh, we do have a kickoff uh, opening ceremony happening on YouTube Live. Uh, that's going to be taking place next Wednesday at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, followed by a team formation session. And then we also have got a, um, we've got a couple workshops with the meter team. Uh, we've got on Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, we've got a getting started with meter workshop, uh, followed by, I believe, Tuesday. Uh, it will be a bit more of a deeper dive. Um, to sign up for the hackathon, uh, you can go to app.biddlebox.io, and you'll see the hackathon on our front page. It is also linked up here somewhere. It's linked up on the Jumbotron somewhere for you to sign up. Um, and signups are open all the way until the hackathon ends. So until submissions close on June the 30th. Um, and then, uh, Jonas, do you have any other questions for the meter team? I'm very excited to see the projects getting started here. And I'm very excited for next week. Um, and uh, I'm... Uh, very bullish on this initiative and i hope that a lot of like the build box family shows up to to support uh the event because i think it's like a really great opportunity to kind of learn something new but also like delve into a cross-chain future or like a multi-chain future where uh things like meter uh really knows their place you know there is like uh we, we need meter in our lives you know so very excited for all of this yeah, Absolutely. thanks a lot. Actually, multi chain is one of the things we've been looking at uh, since uh, very early days. Uh, we were one of the uh, first uh, like <coughs> multi chain bridge providers that supports <coughs> cross chain messaging in addition to like tokens. So we're actually recently uh, planning to launch a multi chain synthetic asset protocol called Sumer Money to basically help people uh, to deal with the multi chain scenario uh, easier and also be more capital efficient when they um, like participate in multi-chain DeFi's. 
Oh, that is awesome. I'd love to, I'd love to hear that, especially because um, I might be dropping off in the chat, but uh, later on uh, this year in person, uh, we, we've got the permissionless hackathon and yeah. Uh, awesome. So if anyone has any questions uh, for us, for Meter, feel free to drop them in the chat. We'll give it a couple of moments here. Do, do, do. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, I think we checked off all the boxes on on uh, what we wanted to cover today. Uh, we've got Hack Meter coming up, um, and I really, really appreciate hearing about. Uh, I mean, it's, we've we've got. I mean, you covered the challenges very, very well here. Uh, we've got our workshop schedule. Uh, it is also posted on the um, Hack Meter landing page on Biddlebox. Uh, and there are plenty of examples. Challenges will also be going live next week. And also there is room for any builders in this hackathon to continue developing on Meter uh, through the Meter, develop the Meter Developer Grant Program. Um, that aside, I don't see any questions. Any, any closing thoughts, Jonas? And then I'll dish it off to you, uh, Jahan, for any closing words too. Uh, no, I appreciate everyone for coming. This was amazing. Uh, and looking forward to next week. Yeah, yeah um, same here. Basically, uh, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, and uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, in the meantime, feel free to reach out to us uh, through like uh, our uh, developer uh, Telegram or like uh, our Discord channel. Uh, happy to like uh, provide uh, any additional uh, insights uh, to the programs, the hackathon, or anything that you are interested about meter. Heck yes, amazing. Uh, very, very grateful and glad to speak with you today, Jean. And uh, thank you, Jonas, for your joining us too. Yeah, and thank you for organizing this AMA. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. And shout out to everyone in the audience. It, it's the spaces was uh, uh, really took off this morning, and I'm I'm excited to see what everyone builds, and uh, we'll catch you all next week. Uh, we will be hosting our hackathon kickoff ceremony on our Biddlebox YouTube channel. It will be live streamed at 10 a.m. Pacific, so be sure to tune in. And thanks everyone for joining. Thank you, everyone. Bye. All right. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Take care. See y'all.